guys, what's up? I've been loving you the best I can, the best I can. I've been loving you the best I can, the best I can. Hi! How are y'all doing today? Thanks! Um, we're taking. Can I go to stuff in? We are. Hang on. We're taking my mason jars, empty mason jars that have just been sitting around, and we're going to make them beach themed. Um, so we're going to fill them with sand and seashells. So right now we have to make the fake sand first so that it can dry while Aquila is taking her nap. What I ended up doing was scooping about five cups worth of flour, three large tablespoons of oil, and then about ten drops of food coloring into a bag and trying to knead it with my hand. But then the kids kept fighting. Uh, Quilla kept standing in front of the camera. Um, and we also had a couple meltdowns since it was so close to nap time. We ended up having to move to the floor, um, which had a little bit more space. Uh, we also switched our method. Um, so I went online and found a tutorial on the girl.com YouTube channel by Jamie, where she uses salt and food coloring to make fake sand. So we switched to that method, uh, which I'm glad that we did because it ended up being a lot easier. Um, now, of course, I had more of a natural and uh, pretty perfect look in mind as I wanted this to be decorations for my office. Bag. Here, take your spoon. That's Camilla's bag. You might have to pour some from here. Salty guys, it's real salty. <laughs> it is. Uh, the girl in the tutorial I watched, it was girl.com, G-U-R-L.com. And then she said that when you're done using it for crafts and stuff, you can sprinkle it on like cup board and stuff and it looks really cool. Um, this should be interesting because my kids and food color generally don't mix very well. We end up with color everywhere. Okay, Quilla, what color do you want? Yeah. You want to do red like your shirt? Okay. Let me put, she's saying about 50 drops, but that seems like a lot. I don't think I use as much salt as she did. One, two. Mine doesn't want to come out. Come on, Ned. Why are you all stuffed up? This is taking a lot of time to squeeze out. What? <laughs> what in the world, Red? Come out. We may need to go get a fork, actually. Is that my mix it better, Quilla? What do you think? The fourth would work better. Okay, so let me close it. <laughs> shake it up, shake it, shake it. I said it might still be wet. Oh, it is? I thought we were gonna do one of every color. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, Quilla, so what color do you want your second bag? Yellow or green? You want yellow or green? Now again, for this part, I didn't have a recipe either. Can you tell I like to wing things? Um, so I just ended up putting about two cups worth of the iodized salt, uh, which is about 86 cents for that big old container. So it's really cheap. Um, I put that into a clear quart size Ziploc bag along with about five to six drops of the food dye. And then I zipped it up and let the kids shake it all around until it was mixed up. Uh, they had a lot of fun with this as well. Uh, one of Aquila's favorite uh, things on YouTube that she likes to watch is this song for kids called Shake the Sillies Out. So she got to uh, shake the bag and we were singing the song. It was, it was a lot of fun and it lightened the mood a little bit, especially since it was so close to nap time. Uh, the kids also had to taste it. I'm not sure why. I told them about 20 times that it was going to be disgusting. But I think they just had to try it for themselves. You guys, you at my dog one in on me! Yeah, is it focusing? Can it see you? Show it again. And I'll focus on it. Alright. This is a dark green. This is the... Um, what do we mix for this one, Kalo? Red and yellow to make more. Okay, I have some more. This is just the green one. Yeah, I have some more. No, no, no. No, I didn't. 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 I
one more drop of blue in there. Okay. We're still missing one. There we go. Okay. And then this is the blue by itself, I believe. Aren't they really pretty? And this is the gunky. Oh, it zoomed in. <laughs> this is the gunky nasty mess that we tried to make with flour. Um, which, I mean, it could still dry. It's really dry. Okay, that it's already fluid. Um, maybe when it dries, the flour one will be better. But I don't see it happening. It definitely feels more like sand. It kind of feels like that wet sand at the beach. Um, but I don't know if I'd want to stick my hands in it. And it definitely doesn't. I don't know. You guys can use it on. You see? It's like a clumpy mess, and you can't even see the color. Oh, no, 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 Oh, I should have known that was going to happen. I thought you couldn't get your bag open. Alright, go get the vacuum. Oh, well, okay, go show me your color. Alright, this is the last color that has everything in it. Woo! Alright. Now we're gonna let these dry while the takes her nap. The next day after we picked Kalo up from school, we ran home <laughs> to start our project. Uh, I had intended to do it the night before and finish it up, but it got too dark outside. I really love how particular Kalo was with his jar, um, and also how completely opposite and how crazy Aquila was with hers. Kalel's layers are so perfectly stacked, and then Aquila's is just this mashup of shells and colors. <laughs> um, regardless of whether it's an age thing or not, it really does show how they both are in general, how their personalities are, and I think it's super fun. I will definitely keep these jars around for a while as decorations, and I am so, so glad that we did this project. If you made it this far in the video and you're still watching, thank you so much. Um, I know that the camera angles weren't the best and there was definitely a lot going on. Um, but we really just wanted to show off our project to you guys and give you an idea of something that you could do on your own. Um, as Kalel says in the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more toy videos. <laughs> He really enjoys doing these projects. Um, if you have any ideas for one that you'd like him to do, please leave a comment and I'll read it to him. He would love that. Oh, come on, that is so cool. Go show it and make sure it focuses. Come on. You gotta make sure the green thing focuses on it. Oh, oh, that's so cool. You want another one? Oh, where's the base one that you wanted? So guys, what do you think of our arts and crafts? This was Kalel's idea. He wanted to do this, huh? Yes. We made the seashell gardens with a beach theme. And this is supposed to look like colored sand. Because mommy's this is what's mommy's name. This is name. Remember? 8 more Mommy Mama's design. But you're right. That's my name. That's what I put on everything. They're both right. You want more seashells in there? Okay. I'll get my top one. Alright, you guys. You talk on the show. Oh, Will's got a huge seashell in hers. Wait, no, you're not playing. You're going to make it easier. Mom is awesome. If you like this video, we're going to see a lot more like it. Bye bye, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. My idea is to make a video. Do lots more like it. Look at mommy's crazy kid. <laughs> mommy's dying her hair and it looks crazy. You got cake inside your best sister. You want to die with you, Nick? Bye bye. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Which one is that?